Hey guys, Steve Harris here and welcome to Without Code. Today we're going to have a look at how to preview your websites, send those previews to your clients, and I'm also going to show you some tricks for reviewing the tablet and mobile versions of the site on your desktop device. So I'm here in the editor and I've created a site for a personal life coach and I'm ready to send this site to my client. So you don't need to publish this site or have it live or paid for or anything before you send the link to your client. You can send it to them at any time during your build. The easiest way for you to send a link to your client to review is if you look at this info button on the top of the editor, it says info and tools, and we click on that, there's a tab here on the left, second one down that says preview link. And this is going to give you a link that you can send to your clients so they can review the site. You can also specify if you want to send them just to a desktop preview or a mobile preview. So I'm going to send them this all devices link. So let's copy it and let's drop this in a new browser window and see how it looks. Okay, so I've copied and pasted that link into a new browser window. And as you can see, what it's doing here is it's showing all of the different versions of the site. So a desktop, a tablet, and a mobile. So your clients can scroll through each version and have a look at the site. They can also use this toggle on top to show just the tablet version, for example, or just the mobile version or back to all devices. So this is a really handy preview system for you to use for showing your clients the different versions of the site. Another way that you can send them a link to view the site is if I go back to the editor and I click on the home button, this is going to bring us to our unbranded dashboard, basically the client dashboard. My site is this top one here. It just doesn't have a thumbnail because it's brand new. However, if I go over to this hamburger icon and I click share, then there's a share your site option. And if I click the email button, we can enter in an email here. So I'll just do steve at woco.com, click send, and this is going to send an automatically generated email to your client with a link to preview the site. Now, if you want more control over what that email says to your client, then you'll probably just want to write it yourself and send them the link that you're provided right within the editor. So that's the link under this info and preview link option. It's going to send the exact same link between the two. The next thing I'd like to talk about is the mobile and tablet versions of the site. So often people will load up the desktop version here and they'll begin scaling the browser down to try and view the other versions. We use a slightly different approach to mobile and tablet sites than standard responsive. What we're doing is something called dynamic serving. So what happens with dynamic serving is when a device hits the website, an architect built website that is, we're going to assess which device they're loading it on, so a desktop, a tablet, or a mobile, and we're going to send them a highly optimized version of that site. Now this sounds a little bit like old school Muse where it used an alternate site approach, but ours is quite different and quite superior. So dynamic serving is much, much faster because we're detecting the user agent or the device itself on the server side versus within the browser. And we're also showing you one single URL, whereas in Muse, you had different URLs for the different variations of the site. So this is really nothing like how old Muse used to work. So there's a little trick for viewing the desktop and tablet versions of the site outside of this preview system. If I right click on this page, you'll see that it says view page source or view frame source. So the reason there's a page and a frame is because we're using this toggle system, which is actually sitting in front of the site. Then we're pulling the site in into a frame. And what we want to do is isolate kind of the URL of that frame. So if I go view frame source and I show you the URL here, you can see that it's still a site modify link, but it's slightly different. It's got some kind of these variables or whatever you want to call this at the end of it. So if I actually just copy this link here and I add this or paste this to a new browser window, here's what it looks like. So you can see that we've actually pulled this preview out of the toggle system. We no longer have those buttons on top for desktop and mobile and tablet. So this is basically what was loading into that frame without the toggle system in front. If we do the same to the tablet version or the mobile version, let's do the mobile version. So I'm going to view the frame source. I'm going to check out the URL here and let's just copy it all the way back to the HTTPS. So I'll copy that and let's paste it in a new browser window. So here's the mobile version of our site as shown on a desktop device. Looks really weird, right? So in this case, you could actually scale your browser down to a more mobile appropriate size. And this is serving up the mobile version on a desktop site. 
So this is a really good trick for you to preview the mobile version of your site because unless our server detects a mobile device, it is not going to show you the mobile version. So this URL structure forces our server to provide the mobile version to you. So as you can see, the site looks great in a small browser window like this. The menu is working well. So that's a way to pull the previews out of that frame system. The last thing that I want to mention to you is something called caching and hard refreshes. Now, if you've made a change to a site, so let's say I made an update to the site, and for some reason it's not showing up in my browser. It could be because the browser has cached the version of your site and is trying to show you an older version to improve the load speed. So in this case, what we may need to do is do something called a hard refresh, or we could even clear our cache and view this as a brand new site. We just want to force the browser to re-download the entire site. Depending on what browser you're on and what operating system you're on, this can be a little bit different. But if you just Google the OS in the browser you're on, you'll probably find some quick tips on how to do this. So for example, here's in Chrome, it says, hold down control and click the reload button. Let's give that a try. So if I go back to my site preview, if I just hit reload here up in the top corner, let me move this down so you can see my URL. If I hit the reload button here, you'll see that the site doesn't flash or anything like that. So it's reloading, but it's obviously got some cached elements here because it just doesn't look like a fresh page load. Now, if I hold control and click that reload button, you'll see that everything flashes. This is a true refresh and reload of the page. If I go back to this, you'll see that there are other options. You can open Chrome's developer tools. You can hold control and press F5. So there's lots of options for you to do a hard refresh of the site. The other thing that you can do, which you've probably done before, is you can clear your cache. So if you just go into your browser, go into your history, and what we'll do is go over to the left side, we'll click clear browsing data. Within this option, it asks us what we want to clear. Do we want to clear our history, our cookies and site data, or cached images? Now beware if you clear your cookies, you're probably going to have to re-log in to most sites that you've been to. However, sometimes a cookie clear is required, especially a site that requires authentication or logging in, like the without code site. Also cached images and files, this is the important one that you really need to clear if you're going to do a true refresh of a site on the web. So just remember a hard refresh, most of the time will fix this, or clearing your cache and files and reloading the site should work as well. So that's a quick overview of how to preview sites and some tips and tricks for viewing these mobile specific versions on a desktop device. I hope you learned something new in this video and best of luck sending these sites to your clients. Cheers.